Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video! Now, we finished with the helicopter, so we gotta start with something new! A lot of you guys voted to build a boat, but I didn't know what kind of boat to build. But now, I guess I kinda do. So, we're building a 250-ton coaster cabotage. I, I don't really know what that means. Uh, we're basically building a big old cargo ship. It's not massive, but it's not small. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get over to the port, and we'll start building the hull, and we'll see if we can make it look beautiful! Anyway, yeah, let's go over there and we'll see what we can get up to. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is turn on the mirror mode. That is completely fine right there. All right, cool. We're then going to drag this over to the front so that we know where the front of the boat is going to be. All the way at the front. There we go. This is going to be the furthest forward point on our boat that we've possibly got. There we go. Good. All right, cool. Now, from there, we're going to go ahead and go down pretty steeply um, to begin with. Actually, yeah, pretty steeply. That's a good idea. So we're going to go down about three. Then we're going to go down about three. Then we're going to go down about three again. And then a good old four. And then that is going to be it for the fours. Then we're going to go back to the twos. Uh, so we're going to go down like this. We're going to go down like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a pretty steep front on this boat. There we go. And then we're going to go down like this. That is completely fine. There we go. All right, cool. And then we're going to try and bend it around backwards if we possibly can, which is uh, probably a good idea. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to bend it backwards just a little bit more. Just a tiny, tiny touch more. There we go. Good. Yeah, so that is going to be the shape of our hull right there. Seems like a good idea. We'll have like a big old area for cargo, which is going to be probably like... How, how tall is this? All right, so each one of these is 10. 10, 20, 21. 21 tall. Uh, we only need it to be about 10 tall, so we'll probably end up doing it from about there to about here. And that's going to be the, the cargo area. That seems like a good enough uh, amount of space for cargo. So, uh, yeah, why not? That seems like a good idea. Go ahead and get rid of this as well. We don't need it for right now. We'll, uh, we'll need it later, though. We will definitely need it later. The next thing that I want to do is... I, I kind of want to put these on, but no. We're going to get the whole ship first. So, we literally just need to copy and paste this entire thing. Um... Uh, like backwards and sideways a bunch of times um basically we're gonna go backwards and sideways for the first few um it's not gonna be that deep or or severe but it's gonna look okay here we go copy this we're gonna drag it sideways and we're gonna push it backwards i want a really 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 shallow slope to begin with otherwise we're gonna have a few problems uh so yeah really really shallow so that we have like at least a point on the front it's gonna look okay uh we do need to merge all of these together in the end anyway uh, but we're going to continue with this for right now. There we go. Keep it going. We're going to go like back at least two more of these. And we go backwards one. There we go. And then paste. And then from here, we can go out one. And we can come back two. And that'll, that'll start to make the shape of the boat look way nicer than it did before. So uh, we'll continue with this. We'll make it go out a little bit more. There we go. Good. And we'll only do like another two of these probably. There's another one. And here's another two. There we go. Beautiful. Good. So, now we've got a nicely shaped front end, uh, which is kind of, actually kind of cool. I like that. Uh, we'll probably end up doing, like, one or two big steps next, and then that'll be it. It'll have, like, a pretty shallow side, uh, a pretty flat side, because uh, it's just going to be. It's going to be one of those boats with a big old flat side. We do also need to merge all of these together, which is going to take a little while. Um, but everything should be good, you know? Everything should be completely fine. I believe we can merge all of these together anyway. Uh, so, there we go. Good. Let's go ahead and fill in all these holes, and we'll see what it looks like from there. And then once we've got all of these holes filled in, it should look pretty cool. And it should actually work, hopefully, as the front of our boat. If it doesn't work as the front of our boat, we might have to start again. That's the only problem with this. We might actually have to start again. I'm also trying to not put as much weight in, so we're only putting the necessary blocks in. And yeah, everything is good to go from here. There we go, fill in the rest of those. And then finally, fill in the rest of these. There we go, there we go, and there we go. That's not bad. That is a not a bad shape for the front of a boat. All right, cool. Let's go back here, and we'll go ahead and paste another one. We'll make it go back three. There we go. So like this. There we go. Paste it. We'll make it go back three again. There we go. We'll go out, and we'll paste it there. And then we'll make it go back four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, God. No, there we go. Somewhat like this. Move it over to the side. Paste it in. And yeah, I think that is good to go for the front of our ship. We're going to merge all of these together with one big brick as well, pretty much. Uh, so we're going to have a flat bottom ship 
But it's not going to be that easy. I don't think it's going to be that easy, at least. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to put that there anyway. Because at the minute, it can't merge together. Anyway, we'll merge this with this. If we can. Yeah, there we go. Merge this with this. And voila. There we go. Good. All right, cool. So, before we actually start merging things, we need it to go inwards quite a bit. Uh, and we want it to go, like, inwards from four high. So, one, two, three, and then four. We'll go in from here. There we go. Do that on the other side. Show around here. There we go. We'll have this go across. And we'll delete everything else underneath there. There we go. Yep. It seems like the right way of doing it. I'm not entirely sure, though. Uh, but it'll basically give us, like, a rounding off. Which is exactly kind of what I want. Uh, so, yeah. We'll try and round it inwards as well as sideways. Um, so, basically, the way we're going to do that is we're going to delete most of these pieces. We'll delete this. We'll delete all of this. We'll delete all of this one as well. And we'll delete most of this one. There we go. Cool. And then we follow this one across. That's good. We follow the next one across, which is going to be this one. There we go. And then we follow the next one across, which is going to be this one. There we go. And that'll be like the, the, the cornering of our hull, if, if that's the right word. I don't think it's the right word, but still. Uh, I feel like that is the right way of doing it. Whether it is or not, I'm not entirely sure. But it doesn't look too bad, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good indeedy. And in fact, actually, we might as well make it go sideways one from there. So we'll make it come outwards. There we go. And then we'll make it go up again. So we'll line up on this one. And from there, everything should be A-OK. -okay. As well as this piece. We'll go ahead and delete this. And we'll do this to this piece as well. Uh, because I feel like that will look real nice. I feel like it'll look real nice on the bottom of the boat. There we go. Beautiful. We'll have it literally go to every one of these. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Cool. Good. I'm glad that we're getting things sorted like this on the first video because, um, yeah, it'd be tricky otherwise. All right, cool. Go ahead and fill in all of these areas as well because we kind of need to. There we go. All right, good. There we go. And, yeah, we're going to have, like, a flat-sided boat, which is completely fine. Uh, oh, my phone just went off, but that's okay. Go ahead and fill in all of these. We'll fill in the rest of the holes, and then we'll see what it looks like from there. Okay, so now that I've filled in all the holes, we might as well fill in all of this little bit as well. We'll just go ahead and attach this together so that we've got some sort of floatable hole. Uh, that's literally all I want to do. So there we go. We'll go ahead and do all of this. We'll do all of this. I shouldn't have turned mirroring on at the very beginning because uh, we haven't mirrored anything at all just yet. Uh, but there we go. All right, cool. So that is the shape of the front of our boat. Um, it is going to carry some sort of... I don't know whether we should have a bulbous bow on it. I really don't want a bulbous bow, so I'm probably not going to have one. Uh, but I like the fact that we do have some sort of ledge right here and it does curve inwards. Now, what we want to do from here is we literally want to go ahead and go here. There we go. We'll go ahead and clear that. We'll make it bigger because that is exactly what we need to do. And we'll go ahead and copy the entire thing. Paste it on the other side. And we should be good to go from there. All right, cool. Do all of this. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and copy it. Press U. Push it over to the other side. Here we go. And paste it right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks beautiful, actually. I really like the look of that. I really like the look of that. It might be a little bit too deep, though. But you know what? I think that's okay. I feel like that is actually okay. Um, I don't mind that at all. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Uh, so that is the front part of our hull. Really liking it so far. Let's go ahead and continue to the back end. So what I want to do is I'm going to go like this. The exact same thing. We're going to clear this. We're going to then make it smaller from the front to the back. So to about there. We're then going to make it wider so that we copy this wall in. And we're going to paste it down the ship. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy. All right, we're going to go ahead and paste right there. We're going to do it again. All right, right here. We're going to do it again right here. I don't want it to be like a really big ship, though. So we're probably only going to do this one or two more times. It's not going to be the length of the, the area. Um, there we go. Probably about that big. That seems about fine to me, but maybe one more. And then we'll, we'll start rounding it off from here. There we go. Paste that. Beautiful. Merge all of these together. Yeah, there we go. Nicely done. And that is looking pretty cool to me. That's looking pretty cool to me. All right, cool. So now what I want to do is I want to fill in all of these little gaps. I don't want any any gaps at all leaving in this thing. Uh, because, you know, we're going to have problems. Where there's gaps, there's problems. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to fill this entire thing in uh, now rather than later. And we're going to go ahead and fill in this entire thing all the way to the back end. There we go. And we'll see if she floats. And we'll see how she floats. Um, because I believe the flatter the boat's thingamabobby, the better it floats. And when I say thingamabobby, I mean the bottom. But, you know, 
Uh, what's going on here? Oh, I've missed one piece on literally all of them. Oh, well, that sucks a little bit, but I'll have to go around pasting all of these in. That's okay. That won't take too long, because uh, there was only like four or five of them done, I think. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, cool. Go ahead and paste this in. We'll see if she floats, and we'll see how she floats. And she's not that big. She is wobbling a little bit, but I think she's okay. As soon as it's got cargo in it and stuff like that, it's going to be really cool. All right, awesome. So now that we got that, we need to start work on the back piece. Um, how this is going to work, not entirely sure. Um, I kind of feel like we should come out from about up here. From up here, like this. And we should go in sideways, kind of, I guess. Somewhat like this, but not really. Oh, man, this is going to be a little bit tricky to do. Uh, right, okay, cool. So we'll go back up from here. We'll do it the same way we did it on the front. So we'll go like this. We'll go up and we'll go out like this. We'll then start to go out a little bit further. And then a little bit further. And then we'll continue with that that distance for now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll start going up like pretty steeply, to be honest. There we go. Three, three, two, two. Until we get to about this point right here. So we'll go ahead and do it again. There we go. Yeah, that is probably a good shape for the, the back end. Uh, obviously, we want it curving around at the same time. So I'm not the best at doing this. Uh, but I'll give it some sort of curve, I suppose. All right, cool. Go from here up to here. There we go. Cool. Go from here up to here. And we'll go from here up to here. There we go. Good. Yeah. This isn't too bad at all. This is not too bad at all. Beautiful. All right, cool. So that's kind of the shape we're going for with this thing. Uh, obviously, the deck is going to go all the way across, like so. Um, the back end is slowly going to merge itself inwards, which is great. And everything else should be fine. Yeah. All right, I'm 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 pretty happy with that. I am actually pretty happy with that. Um, right, okay, cool. Good. The rest of it, underneath. So from underneath here, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to have our own little thingamabobby going on. And what I mean by that is we're going to have the propeller and stuff be positioned under here properly. Um, so that it looks nice, basically. I just want it to look pretty. Uh, and once it looks pretty, that's okay with me. That is completely fine with me. So the way that I'm planning on doing this is I'm going to position all of these. And then we're going to go from the top and we're going to try and, I don't know, cut a little bit off at a time. To make it look nicer and nicer and nicer as we go down. Uh, and it'll sort of curve it as well at the same time. So we paste, paste all of them, right? And then we go from the back, and we start deleting the shape that we want. So we go, we'll have the back end be kind of wide, but not that wide. We'll delete this. That means that we delete this piece, and then we go from the next one. We'll, we'll leave it two. We'll delete this. There we go. We'll leave it two. We'll delete this. Then we only need to leave it one. There we go. We'll delete all of that. Good. Then we'll leave it one again. And then we'll have it two on this side. And there we go. All right, cool. So we've rounded it off. From there, that is good so far. Um, how am I going to make it work from here? Not entirely sure. I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like we've got enough... Um, I don't feel like we've got enough buoyancy in this little back piece here. Uh, so we might have to change the design a little bit. But it's not bad, I don't think. I think that's okay. I feel like that is okay. It might go up a little bit steeply, but yeah. I feel like that's fine. Uh, right, okay, cool. So for, for the propellers... We're going to come down here, and we're going to probably go out from, you know, center, almost. There we go. We'll go up from there. There we go. And we want some sort of framework for the propellers to be, like, based on, basically. Uh, we'll also sort of merge these outwards as well, so we'll push this in, and we'll sort of merge them out slowly as well. Man, I'm going to struggle with this. I am going to struggle a lot with this. Uh, just trying to make it the right shape is, is kind of difficult to do. There we go. All right, cool. Fill in these for now. All right, cool. We'll leave that like that. Yeah, so that is the main the main whole shape right there. Uh, we'll leave it as it is. There is going to be some sort of cargo bays in here somewhere. So we'll have a small one in the front and a big one in the back. Um, so how many have we got at the front? Let's say 10, uh, 20, 30, 40. We'll start one in the middle of this. There we go. So the cargo bay is going to go from there. We're going to have it be um, one, two... Three big? Three big. That seems quite large, but uh, it, it, it isn't in the grand scheme of things. So we'll go ahead and delete a big old area right there for that. 
Uh, we'll have a walkway on the side. The walkways are going to be five big. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we can delete the rest of the inside of this. And it's going to be that big. And there we go. That is a pretty decent sized cargo area. Nice. We're going to have some big doors on there as well. Then we've gonna, we're going to have some sort of crane system right here. So we'll leave... Um, oh, how big do we leave? Uh, one. Two. Two? Do we leave two or do we do we need more than that? I'm not sure. I guess we could go like this big and we can have that whole area in the middle for cranes. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. And then we'll have the bridge start somewhere near the back. All right. And in fact, actually, on this boat, I want the bridge to go like really high, if that makes any sense. So we're going to have like a big area right here and the bridge is going to go on top of it. Okay. This might unbalance things, but I'm, I'm kind of really happy that I want to do this. So we are. We're going to do this. We're going to have a little cargo area down here, which is going to be about the same size as this one. And then I think that's good enough for me. I, th I feel like that's good. Although maybe we should, like, use less... L yeah, we'll go here. All right, hold on. Let's delete this. Delete this whole area right here. And we can go one, two, three, four, five. And then delete this all the way back to about there. Yeah, there we go. So we got one little cargo area, one big cargo area, room for a crane, and then the bridge back here. Yes! Alright, cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and start deleting some of these. There we go, so that we can still walk around properly. Nicely done. Nicely done. I'm not sure how deep we need them to be. Uh, so I'm going to go with about 10. Is 10 good? I think 10 is probably about the right, right height. So we're literally going to go down to about this point right here. There we go. That's not a bad distance. There we go. Go ahead and do this all the way along to fill it all in. There we go. Do this all the way across and we also really don't need this to be like attached to the rest of the boat if that makes any sense all right cool so we'll go ahead and get rid of this and put that in there we'll delete most of the the spare blocks so we don't need these and we don't need these get rid of those and yeah there's our little cargo area right there that's actually a really big cargo area uh, and then the same thing we'll do we'll do on this one as well and then we'll start building the bridge and things like that anyway for right now i'm gonna end this video here Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I think it's going to be a pretty good one. Uh, but i got to go for right now. So thank you for watching. If you guys have any suggestions on what I could add next, let me know in the comments down below. We'll probably paint it red and some other colors. Not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, I think it's starting to look pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Goodbye.